What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is about the CX-133 Chaos Fighter used by the Krath, who were a secret society and Sith cult that operated around the time of the Great Sith War. It was manufactured by Koro Spaceworks, an obscure company located in the Deep Core, who also produced the Supremacy-class attack ship and Koro Starfighter. Surprising given the company's relatively small experience, they were able to produce the Chaos Fighter for just 65,000 credits, barely more than the TIE Fighter, less than half the cost of the XC-01, but incredibly cheaper than the Auric and S-100. At 10.5 meters, or 34 feet long, it was a Wookiee shorter than the X-Wing, and about 1.5 Oryx. Its top atmospheric speed was faster than the X-Wing, but slower than most of its older public contemporaries. This CX-133's armament focused on an anti-starfighter role, with six light laser cannons, all forward-fixed and equally spaced along the wings. This is why the name Chaos is quite apt for this ship, as its wings were so wide, probably something around 20 meters or 66 feet, about as wide as an ARC-170, so when these six cannons were firing away, it would cover an incredible amount of space, making it very difficult to evade. This ship required a single pilot, and is believed to be devoid of shields, and didn't come with a hyperdrive, which is probably how it could be so cheap. But the lack of shields did make these triple ion engines the Chaos Fighter's Achilles heel. This ship came into conflict with the Jedi Starfighter, the Star Saber XC-01, and the Republic's S-100 Stinger, after the Krath launched a crusade in the Deep Core to try and increase their power in the dark side. 144 Chaos Fighters would be stored inside of the Supremacy-class attack ship, which were used to try and fight off the enormous Republic command ships. During these battles, the XC-133 used highly effective swarming tactics, making the best of its speed and great amount of fire in a wide arc, rushing in quickly, laying down walls of hot plasma, and peeling back to repeat. When they got desperate, they could really sow chaos by turning their ships into massive Tabana gas bombs, utilizing all that gas for the weapons and engines, and smashing right into the hulls of large capital ships. This took the life of many Republic pilots during the Battle of Koros Major, the Second Battle of Empress Teta, and during the brazing assault on the Foros shipyards. The Karth would however lose this war, and sadly it is very unlikely that any of these ships are still operable somewhere in the galaxy. So that's it for the CX-133 Chaos Fighter. And the only cool behind the scenes facts is that it first appeared in the Tales of the Jedi Dark Lords of the Sith 2, but also was in several other comics in the Tales of the Jedi series. And the stats that were used come from the Knights of the Old Republic campaign guide. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of those comics or reference books, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, Never sign up if the ship itself is listed as its optional armament. And the Force will be with you. Always.